everyone welcome back to my channel um <clears throat> it's been a good two solid years since i've consistently done anything on here um it's been 10 months since the last video i created when my air conditioner went out so uh it's like i'm starting over again but i figured i would continue on with this as i continue on with this yard, yard stuff um uh, yeah so it's first week of may and technically it's kind of late to be starting a garden but right now i'm just gonna focus on getting the yard back and minimally minimally planting things jethro get out of here now um i'm not gonna go crazy and put a bunch of stuff in like i normally do i'm just gonna do the basics um they have like the three sisters thing that i've read about where it's corn climate like pole beans and um, zucchini squash so i'm gonna do that um on the back fence area and then i want to get some tomato plants and um, i think some pepper i really you know how i feel about okra if you know you know so i'm gonna try and grow some okra again um i I'm gonna um, get flowers and herbs to plant in between my stuff to help with um, the aphid problems that I've had in the past. So um, that's, that is the plan. Right now, so far, I don't have any plants. I don't have any seedlings. I don't have anything to go into the ground right now. Um, but I will be getting the yard ready, cleaning up the dog mess, um, I have stuff to create a sh uh, sun covering. Well, I have the, sh the sunshade fabric. Um, when I went to get that, they did not have the six foot um, T posts that I needed. So I'm gonna get that today, hopefully. And then um, get smaller ones to um, and reinforce the little fence I made so the dogs can't get over there. Um, I have a couple of things I need to get at Lowe's today. And then I need to get a new I call them doggy pools because we sell them at PetSmart, but um, new dog pool to transfer the soil I have into that because the other one is broken and all of those other pots are broken. So I just need to throw away all the stuff that's broken and put in new stuff and start over again. So that's the plan. It's freezing today. Like yesterday it was 60 something degrees and it's hit 90s. It's at like 99. And it's freezing right now. I'm gonna go grab a jacket actually, I think. Or a long sleeve shirt, cause I'm cold. I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting getting up early, get up before it gets hot, but I don't think it's gonna get that hot today. It's supposed to be in the 80s, I think, but I'm freezing right now. So anyway, um, I will get back to you after the progress has been made.
I'm warm now. Um, it's about 8.30 and I started this about almost 7. It was like 6.40, I think. Anyway, I got a lot of junk out of there. Um, cleaned up the poop that were in the garden beds that my darling children have gotten into. Um, yeah, a lot of just de debris that's been sitting there for two years, basically. Um, so now I'm going to head to Lowe's, get the things that I need, and then um, stop by my parents' house. They have an old pop-up that I can use for sun coverage. And um, I got to get a new doggy pool to put the dirt and soil from the ones that are depleted and like broken in there. So um, slow progress, but I'll get there by the end of the day because it's only 8.30ish, roughly. Anyway. Um, See you later for more progress. Peppers, tomatoes, flowers, and I picked up some raspberries and blueberries. <laughs> well, welcome back, guys. Uh, it's almost five o'clock now. Um, it's not a hundred percent, but it is a start. <sighs> it's a little. Uh, a little dirty. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I put some seeds in the ground. They were actually, conveniently enough, um, the very, very last dates, dates that I could put these seeds in were either last week or this current week, so it's kind of in that gray area, so it's the corn. I put, um, regular corn. And then I had the strawberry popping corn that I purchased uh, a couple years ago. Put that in there. Um, I put gherkins that will climb on the corn. On one, because I have two flower beds. Uh, I'll show you guys. Um, and then the other one I have red noodle beans that will. I think they climb. I don't know. Find out. Um, and then I have two different kinds of squash on each side. Um, I put in two different kinds of okra. And I put two different kinds of cherry tomatoes, one big beefy tomato, like a jalapenos, some sweet peppers, uh, tomatillos. Oh, and I found onions, uh, red onion, little starter things. Um, I cannot think of the name of what they're actually called. Um, those are in there with my tomatoes. I've heard that helps with pests. Uh, oh. <laughs> my dogs are behind the shed kicking rocks. Um, yeah, I'm very tired, very gross, very hot. Um, one last thing I have to do, won't go on the video, but I have to pull weeds in my front yard and the weeds that I tossed over the fence are, I have to put in the trash. Um, but anyway, I have to secure my fence too. Hey, because these little jerks, these little jerks, they get into my garden. I sat down for like maybe five minutes to get some of the drink because I was thirsty. And I'll come back and three of them are rolling around in the manure. Louie had it all over his face like he was eating it, which I'm sure he's gonna vomit it up later if he hasn't already. Jethro was up in the flower bed that I fixed because it had broken. I'm sure he's why it broke. Um, but yeah, the um, the dirt was really difficult. I, I had I bought new soil to put on top of the what was there was pretty pretty hard um so I had to keep moistening it and stuff so um I'll probably come back out later and water again um just to make sure the um the soil stays moist 
um, oh, 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 and I'll show you, I got, um, I went to Lowe's and they had raspberries and they had blueberries and they were like, they were six something, seven dollars per thing, but like they were, they weren't just a stick, you know, I've gotten those before, um, and it was actual like little tiny bush, I don't think it'll produce this year, but it's something, so I did that, oh, and I put in some watermelon, I've, I have three different kinds of melon and I forget what kind of they are, but I put three different kinds of melon in, um, and I think I might put some stuff in my tower. I re-moistened all that soil. Uh, but today I'm done. I'm done for today. That is what I am. Um, so let me show you what I did. <laughs> all right. So I still need to secure this right here. Um, but this is what I got going on. My trip hazards, as you know, I like to trip on things. Ugh. Okay, so this is a raspberry and that's a blueberry. This is my tower, green stock. Um, I don't know what I'll put in right now, but it's ready to go when I'm ready. And then I have lavender in there. I'm just gonna have that just for lavender. I have the melons going in here. Um, everything looks kind of drab over here. But I assure you that they have been watered very well. Um, but there's onions all right back there. These are the these are black cherry tomatoes. That's the beefy boy, and these are just regular cherry tomatoes. And then over here, these two beds. So I have the corn, the climbing beans and gherkins, and zucchini on each one. It might be too much there. I don't know. I'll find out. I have another lavender, I have peppers, the tomatillo, the sweet pepper, and marigolds for pests. So and then in this back line, all across there, so I put my okra. But, um, oh yeah, so the pop-up, I didn't really talk about this. So my parents are amazing and as though they keep everything. So you can't really see like the whole picture. But anyways, this pop-up is from my mom and dad basically um, because I didn't want to spend $50 on a pop-up and this is much better than the one I would have paid for. And this is just, there's something wrong with one of the legs, but it works fine right now. So all good. Um, Jethro, how did you get in here? Look at this sneaky guy. Get out of here. Go, go. Yeah, you can jump over. Oh, you were a jerk. Anyway, um, I have to lock them in tomorrow. And then this sunshade little thing I made. That little jerk. Uh, it was nice last time just having small dogs. Now I've got Jethro that can jump over things. I might kill him. Anyway, um, that's what I got going on for today, and I will update as things go.